Hello YouTubers, this is a special session where I get to talk to you a little bit about um, a, a feature that you may have heard about, you know, in the news, maybe on Twitter, maybe in some social media accounts, which is Hot Reload. Hot Reload is, you know, a feature that allows you to modify your code without having to build or compile and run your code again to get these changes reflected in your web applications or, a, or your API. This feature is really cool and really important because if you're running a big application, it might take a little bit of time to build again and compile again and run again. It's much, much easier in terms of turnaround time and productivity for the engineers for the best you know, uh, uh, interest of their time to be able to change the code and then just click save and the, the changes are reflected immediately in, uh, in the browser or on their console, whatever they're using to communicate with their system. But Hot Reload also comes in with really interesting feature. Like there's another use for it. It's not just engineering experience, which is really high priority, but it also can be used for zero downtime deployment, zero downtime deployment. You can change your code and immediately this code gets reflected in your production environments, you know, without you having to worry about um, uh, waiting for the build to finish and then waiting for the release and then the release gets deployed and it takes down the instance. So you need another instance running, you know, to kind of replace, you know, the, the, the down instance. It comes in with a little bit of complication when it comes to maintaining a system running without having to go down for a little bit, especially for smaller applications that don't really re necessarily require a higher cost or a higher budget. So they just go down. They basically go down for like 10 seconds, maybe 20 seconds until the deployment is, is over. And good luck if the deployment has some side tasks and side, you know, um, um, uh, routines that takes a little bit of time. Okay. So hot reload can be used. It can be very good for your engineering experience and it can also be very, very useful for zero uh, downtime deployment, zero downtime deployment. So I am not here today to show you hot reload that it, as it exists in so many different platforms. I'm not here to show you that. I'm here to show you how I would go about implementing hot reload in in, in, in few lines of code. And hopefully you can use this. The purpose of this is that to, to show you real, in real world in a simple example how hot reload works, but also at the same time, I want you to think about newer ways you can innovate so you can use this mechanism to actually build greater software and more productive applications. Okay. So let's go to the IDE right here. Let's create a quick solution. So I'm just going to go here and create a new project. It's going to be a console app and I'm going to call it hot reload uh, demo like, oh, like this. I don't care if it's in five or six, that's fine. So here's a simple program, right? A very simple console application. There is no magic there, right? What I'm going to do here is that I'm going to go and change my code. Right. And as my code is changing, I'm going to show you how this code is reflecting while the console application is running. This is the simplest thing I can do for you. So I'm just going to go here and do an infinite while loop. So it's while true like this. And I'm going to go here and say console right line, right? Um, uh, uh, please press enter. That's just me delaying you for no reason. You know, just, you know, so, so it picks up the new changes, but your application is still running. So this is read key like this. And then uh, I'm going to go here and type in something called C sharp script, C sharp script. And if you click on that guy, it will go and, and get you a Microsoft library called Microsoft code analysis, C sharp scripting, right? It will install this library for you right away. And then you can go here and say run async, run async will basically need some code to run internally and this guy is asynchronous let's make it awaitable which means that this guy need to be asynchronous usually visual studio does that for you right it's the async for you but i guess not this time i'm not a lucky i'm not a lucky person this time okay so we need to put some code in here right and that code gets loaded in the system and you can run it again and again and again so i'm gonna go here and say this is my code i'm gonna just read my code from file I'm going to bring in the IO system file. You can, of course, get your code from anywhere. You can make an API call and get your code from wherever you want. And then I'm just going to put a very simple file here on in my solution. I'm going to call it dynamic code. So I'm just going to go here and here's your just a simple text file. So dynamic code.txt. So it's a very simple text file. And in this dynamic code.txt, I'm just going to go and say uh, using system and then console write line right? And I'm going to go and say, hello world, just like this. So this is C sharp code. 
right? I can make it a CS class if I want to. You know, it may interfere with the global with the global thing that people are doing these days. So, you know, you don't want to do that. Maybe, may, maybe try it out. Okay. So, okay. So hello world using system. And I'm going to go here and just pick up the uh, destination of this file. So it's just raw, raw file coming from here. Here's your destination file. And then all I'm going to do next is just load that code in there and see my system, you know, changes as we go. Let's test it. Let's test it together. Let's see how that works. So here's this guy. So press enter. So I'm going to press enter here. Did it blow up? Yeah, see, it picked up the file and it printed hello world. Do you see that guy? Okay. Now let's go and hot reload this guy. So my application is still running. However, I'm going to change the code there. I'm going to go here and say hello universe. And I'm going to save. My application is right here. Where is it? It's right here. I'm just going to press enter again. Look, it changed. It, it, it reloaded your code, right, while your application is still running, right? Now, you can imagine the possibilities there. Like, if you're exposing a certain function and the, you want to change the behavior of this function on the fly while your application is still running, that's exactly what you can do. That's hot reload for you. The most simplistic way I can explain it to you is through that. And, of course, as usual, I'm going to give you the... Uh, the code in here. I'm just gonna put it on GitHub. So this is hot reload simplified uh, And then I'm just it's not a private repository. So create and push Okay, and it's gonna push the code over there Right and that's it that's pretty much it if 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 you find this useful go out there and explore see what you can do with loading dynamically C sharp code into your system you know, and do a zero downtime deployment or, you know, simplify the experience or basically allow other people to kind of expose APIs and send you modules, UI modules through your system so you can show it in a dashboard. Of course, considering security, the enterprise level engineering mindset that I have compels me to tell you be careful with this feature it can be an injection if someone can inject bad code into your system and it can you know damage your system so just be careful there uh, that's pretty much it i hope you found this useful it's a very short video if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll see you in another video